We are your home theater and AV questions answered. This is AV Rant. Want your home theater or AV question answered by Tom and Rob? Send it to question at avrant.com. Welcome to AV Rant. I'm Tom Antry and I'm here with Rob H. Infinite Gary. Uh, Infinite Gary asks, will we consider the JVC RS600 projectors, which is the same as the DLA X950R, to be a significant upgrade over his? Runco Q750D. Any projectors around that 10,000 PowerPoint, uh, I'm sorry, PowerPoint, pr- uh, price point that would be worth considering. I'm sorry. QuickTime is mad at me now ah. for uh, quit for, for, for stopping. So go ahead. So Answer his question. Just to mention for folks who aren't familiar with the Runco, uh, that is a 1080p projector uh, that uses LEDs as the light source uh, DLP panel. So it's a single DLP chip with an LED light source 1080p. Um, So I would consider the JVC X950, or in the Pro version, it's the uh, RS600. Um, I would consider that an upgrade for several reasons. One, it's compatible with 4K. It's still using a 1080p chip, or three 1080p chips, uh, but it's wobbling them. So it's wobble K, uh, but it's compatible with 4K. Uh, Gary's Runco is not. Uh, It is compatible with HDR10. Gary's Runco is not. It has a DCI color filter if you want to go out to the P3 color space. Uh, The Runco can expand beyond 709, but it doesn't actually hit DCI P3. So yeah, uh, in several ways, it's also brighter and has better black levels. So in in almost every way, I would consider it uh, an upgrade. Now, uh, other projectors that cost around $10,000 with similar capabilities uh, would be Epson's LS10500. That uses lasers as the light source. Um, Lasers. In every other way, it's very similar to that JVC RS600 or X950. Uh, It's very similar. Again, it's 1080p panels that are wobbled to do wobble K, uh, HDR10 compatible, DCI color filter, but laser light engine. And it actually is less expensive, the LS10500. It's not as bright, but the lamp... Sort the light source lasts like thirty thousand hours, nice. whereas the lamp and the JVC last like five thousand. So uh, there's there's trade offs there. Then uh, Sony does have their VW three sixty five. This would be the first projector at the ten thousand dollar price point that has a genuine four K resolution. And when they say four K resolution, it really is four K. It's forty ninety six by twenty one sixty, not the ultra HD resolution of thirty eight forty by twenty one uh, ninety six. So it's uh, it's genuine four K resolution. Back to a lamp as the light source. It's technically compatible with HDR ten. They actually added that via firmware, but it's not really a super bright projector. <laughs> so unless you have a small screen size, which actually Gary's screen size is not gigantic. He's got a 92 inch, uh, 2.35 to one aspect ratio, but still a 92 inch diagonal screen. So um, even that VW 365 can probably light that up with HDR. So there's, there's yours. I know which one I, I'd go for lasers. That's what I would go for. Mm. <laughs> Second, he asks, with ideal room conditions and placement and both speakers being well-designed, are there any inherent advantages to, of either a ported or sealed center speaker? Hmm. Inherently, ported speakers uh, have more bass, technically speaking. Uh, they don't have to. I mean, depending on... Yeah. Depending, <laughs> I mean, if you have the same box size, the same driver size, hmm. you know, all that stuff, it, the ported one should have more bass. Uh, that being said, uh, my answer to this question is no. There's no inherent advantage at all. No, I wouldn't say there's an inherent advantage on the on the bottom end of the speaker unless they have done some weird filtering on the bottom end. But inherently, a sealed speaker will roll off at a rate of 12 decibels per octave. So it'll hit where the driver is its most uh, you know able to play the bass most efficiently and then start to get quieter below that point at a rate of 12 decibels per octave. Whereas the ported speaker, that port is resonating at its tuning frequency and then below that frequency, it rolls off at 24 decibels per octave. So that is an inherent difference in how they roll off uh, below their tuning. But other than that, there's nothing inherently better about ported or sealed um, you know, it's, it yeah, comes down to the speaker designer again. You're looking for us to say something about how ports are flabbier and and uh, no. and sealed ones are 
quicker. It's just not the case. It's it, it just isn't the case. I mean, that is a, a sort of old wives tale of the audio world. You know, people look at it and say, oh, the driver, the air's going in and out. Therefore, you know, uh, therefore it makes sense that it, it takes it longer to slow down. Whereas the internal pressure of a sealed box, you know, brings it back to center a lot faster. That therefore it's a, it's a quicker speaker. It's just not the case. It's just no, like um, it's just over on it. Ascend Acoustics, Dave Fabric had explained it really well. Um, you know, because people were asking, they're like, "How come the uh, new Sierra Lunas that these bring you out? Why are they ported? You know, there's this tiny little speaker, and it's meant to go on wall." And some people were like, "Why isn't this a sealed speaker?" He's like, "Well, I had a design goal where I wanted it to play down to a certain frequency, and the only way I could get there while keeping the same box size and keeping the same drivers was to make it a ported design. It's the only way I could get there. And then on the other hand, he has those HTM 200s in, in the SE series. They're a small uh, box that can be mounted on a wall, but they're sealed. And people are like, why is this a sealed design? All the other SE speakers are ported. Why is this a sealed design? He's like, well, because I wanted to hit a certain bass frequency and I had this box size and I had these drivers and this was the way to get there. So right. that's really what it's about. It's it's comes down to the design and what the design goal happens to be. And a port or a sealed design is a tool. It's one more tool in your tool chest and you use it as needed. That's right. Want your question answered? Send it to question at avrant.com. AV Rant. Now go out and listen to something.